In this video, we are going to look at hue saturation. Hue saturation can be found by going to Colors, clicking on that, and then in the drop down, choose hue saturation. You will then get a hue saturation screen, which looks like this. And we are not going to use the U part. You'll notice when I drag this slider, all the colors right here and all the colors in the image will start to change. Now, if you want to go for something arty, then yes, you can play around with this, it's not a problem. But for what we want to achieve, where we want to improve the color, this will not work. So I'm going to click on Reset Color. And then we are going to look at two options that we can basically tackle this image. The first one is to just go to the Saturation slider. And then you can either go to the minor side, which you'll notice the image will start to desaturate. If I go to minus 100, the image is completely saturated. And you can see in this color section right here, all the colors are gone. So if I take the saturation slide, I go to the plus side. You'll notice that the colors in the image will improve. If I click on the preview, there's the before. If I click on it again, there's the after and the image looks much better. Now be careful not to oversaturate the image. If you go too far with the slider you'll notice when you zoom into the image that the image will look damaged. It will be pixelated and it'll, there will be artifacts. So it will not look very nice. So we can either do it this way and we can just take the saturation slider to exactly where we want it to get the colors the way we want it to be. Or I'm going to reset it now and we can start from the beginning and use this basically I'll almost say like a color wheel that we've got here and then we can we can tone the colors in we can we can set exactly how much of each color we want you'll notice we've got red we've got magenta blue cyan green and yellow so I'm going to start with the blue if I click on blue I'm thinking most of the blue colors will be around here now to find out where the colors are, you just take the saturation slider all the way to minus 100. Then you'll see the desaturated parts right here and you'll also notice that the blue color has been desaturated right there. So all the colors have been taken out. Now you know this is where the blue colors are. Then you take the saturation slider and you go to the plus side and you, you basically dull in the blue until you're happy. Now I'm thinking most of this will most probably be cyan, so let's click on the cyan and then go with the minus slider and here we can see where all the cyan colors are. Now we can take the slider to the plus again and then we can see how strong we want the color to be. I think I'm happy with that. And now let's look at, I think this will be yellow, it looks like lots of yellow and there's some red. There may be some green right there, we'll have a look. So let's first go to the yellow. If I take the saturation all the way to minus it shows me where all the yellow colors are and I can take the saturation slider to the plus side again and I can dull in the strength of that yellow color. Let's go to the red and we can also see there you can see the separation between the yellow and the cyan so that definitely looks like green. So on the red channel if I take the slider all the way down it shows me where all the reds are and I can dull in the red how strong I want it to be and let's see if that's green. Yes, that entire section is green, so I'm just going to add in some green. And let's look at the before and the after. So there's the image that we started with. And if I click on the preview again, you'll notice that all the colors look much improved. And that's all there is to use saturation. In the next lesson, we are going to look at colorize, how we can basically use the U to get different colored effects in the picture and create a very nice monotone and also like a sepia effect. So that's it for this lesson. See you in the next one.